Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raorkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Here, two dice are thrown at random. Okay, two dice. Find the probability distribution of the sum of the numbers on them. Okay, we have to find out the probability distribution table for sum of the numbers on them. And we also have to find the mean of the random variable. This is what we have to do. Let us first understand the question a little instead of just uh, going to the solution directly. Basically, two dice are thrown. Okay, two dice. You know a die, right? It has one to six. So we have two dice. Uh, on one die, one to six is there. Another die, one to six is there. Now this is what uh, we have. We just roll it. Now what they are telling is they are finding us. They are telling us to find the probability distribution of the sum of the numbers they are telling us to find out the probability distribution of the sum of the numbers so whenever you roll two dice okay you get some numbers right you have to find you have to see first what are all the possibilities whenever you roll two dice what you'll in general if you roll one die you'll get one to six anything from one to six now if you are rolling two dice if you are rolling two dice let's say this is my die one uh, output and this is my die two output in the first die, I can get anything from 1 to 6. So there are 6 possibilities. In the second die, also I can get anything from 1 to 6. So there are 6 possibilities. So whenever I'll die, I'll roll 2 dice, my number of possibilities are 36. So my sample space is 36. How 36? See, you will be getting something like 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, okay, 1, 3, and 1, 4, and 1, 5, and 1, 6. And again, here also you will get 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Again, 3, 1, 3. So like this, if you will see, you will get 36 possibilities. If you will, you know, put, uh, if you will throw two dice. Okay. So my sample space contains 36 points or 36 things like 36 sample points. Okay. This is what my sample space contains now. This is what I got. So one one some till what uh, till what I'll get till six comma six till six comma six. Now what they are asking us is they are asking us to find out the probability distribution of the sum of the numbers. Now see when one one comes, what is the sum of the numbers two? One two it is three. One three it is four. One four one plus four is five. So the sum of the numbers is what you have to see. So basically when one one comes, that is that is one value that I get like. My sum of the numbers is 2. My final one will be 6, 6. Uh, the sum of the two numbers is 12. So, this is my sample space. I told it 1, 1, 1, 2 till 1, 6 and 2, 1 till 2, 6 and till 6, 6. In the textbook, this is how it was given. I am just using the same thing. Let x denote the sum of numbers on 2, right? I told it. So, capital X can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up till 12. Sum of the uh, two dice sum of numbers on two dice okay now this is uh, now let's start constructing the table what is the pro now understand what uh, so capital x can be 2 or 3 or 4 up till 12 so there are 11 possibilities 2 to 12 is 11 possibilities if you have doubt see 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it's 11 possibilities okay 2 to 12 is 11 possibilities what is the probability that capital X can be 2? The sum of the numbers is 2. Listen carefully. Now understand the concept a little. Capital X is 2 means sum of the number, sum of the numbers on 2 dice is 2. This is possible only when we get 1 comma 1. We get 1 comma 1. So the probability that capital X is 2 is nothing but 1 by 36. It is 1 by 36. Listen, you will understand. What is the prob uh, cap for now? Let's say capital X is 3. When will you get capital X 3? There are two possibilities, 1, 2 and 2, 1. So the two possibilities are there. So there are two possibilities are there that capital X can be 3. So the probability that capital X is 3 is nothing but 2 by 36. Now let's say capital X is 4. Capital X is 4. What is the probability? When will you get 4? 1, 3, 3, 1 and 2, 2. 1, 3, 3, 1 and 
2 2 so the probability that capital x can be 4 is 4 3 by 36 what is the probability that capital x can be 5 what is the probability that capital x can be 5 so 1 4 4 1 2 3 3 2 so there are four there are four options if i'll get these four this four combinations on die on the two dice <coughs> sorry for that if i'll get this four combinations on my dice then my sum will be 5. So that means the probability that capital X is 5 is nothing but 4 by 36. Now like this if I will construct my table, the probability distribution table is. So via uh, capital X can be 2 when the, prob the probability is 1 by 36. Capital X can be 3. I explained right. Capital X can be 7 is the, the probability is 6 by 36. How? 1 comma 6, 6 comma 1. Two ways. Uh, and 2 comma 4, 4 comma 2. Hmm? Uh, I'm sorry, it's 7, right? Capital X is 7. Capital X is 7. Capital X is 7. So what all are the possibilities? 1 comma 6, 6 comma 1. And 2 comma 5, 5 comma 2. And uh, 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 3. <coughs> I, I don't know how much you understood the table. I was just trying to explain how I constructed the, how do you get this table instead of just mugging up like. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1 by 36, 2 by 36, and till 7, 7 is 6 by 36, and then again 5 by 5. Uh, if you'll mug up, there is a chance that you might do some mistake. You might think, okay, up till 6, then again, again 6 will come 6 by 36 or 4 by 36. I don't want this to happen. So basically, you check, uh, ulti uh, to summarize how I constructed the table is, listen, you take, basically here in this table, we have x and probability of x. Let, let me take let me take up something else. What is the probability that capital X is nine? For capital X to be nine, for capital X to be nine, but capital X is what sum on the sum of numbers on two dice. So that means on my first die and second die, the number sum should be five. When is this possible? The 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 number sum should be nine. I'm fine. Once again, I'm telling. Let let me try to find out the probability that capital X is nine instead of just mugging up the table. The probability that capital X is 9. When can be capital X 9? Capital X is what? Sum of the numbers on two dice. So what, what should you get on the two dice so that the sum is 9? The possibilities are uh, 4 comma 5 and 5 comma 4 and also 3 comma 6 and 6 comma 3. So there are four ways. If these combina these four combinations come, that means the sum will be nine. So capital X is nine when four the probability is four by thirty six. So I hope I could explain that table to you so that you will not just remember it, understand how it works. Fine. In case you did not understand, you can just remember it. What you can do in the exam, this qu this question can come. So it's an important one. So you have to remember it, right? If you cannot understand it, sometimes we have to do that. But I feel I've done a decent job regarding explaining how it went and how the sample space and what capital X is, the possibilities, the probability, how it comes. Now, the mean is nothing but uh, sigma i runs from 2 to 12 <coughs> x i into p of x equal to x i. Uh, so in case if you forget this, you can directly write sigma x i into p of x equal to x i what basically what capital x can be and its probability basically what you get is 2 into probability that capital x is 2 1 by 36 2 into 1 by 36 3 into 2 by 36 sigma is there so you'll get a plus and 4 into 3 by 36 like that you'll just go on adding these so this is what you'll get 2 into 1 by 36 plus 3 into 2 by 36 4 into 3 by 36 like that till 12 into 1 by 36 now in all of this, if I'll take 1 by 36 common, if I'll take 1 by 36 common, so 2 1s are 2, 3 2s are 6, 4 3s are 12, 5 4s are 20, 6 5s are 30, 7 6s are uh, 42, and 8 5s are 40, 9 4s are 36, 10 3s are 30, 11 2s are 22, and 12 1s are 12. Now add this, if you'll add it, you'll get uh, 252, so 1 by 36 into 252, 36 1s are 36, 7s are so this is what the mean is. Right? It was a it was a short question only, but provided if you understand it, it will make things easier. Because you are in case if you are someone who is trying for MSET or 
any competitive exam you should have an understanding of the question not just uh, remember what is happening see let's say in this case let's say your capital your uh, what should i say capital x can be something else also right it need not be the sum of the the sum on the two numbers capital x can be product on the two product of the two numbers on the die Ca capital x can be difference of the two numbers on the dice so <coughs> something like that they can change the question here and there so if you understand what is happening how probability is being calculated how we are, how we are putting a table how we are getting things then you can uh, handle the questions otherwise you will not be it will be difficult for you to handle such questions if they will get, do a twist in the question fine uh, hope i did not bore you thank you